On April 10, 2019, a team of astronomers revealed the first ever photograph of a black hole. Modern physics sees time and space as being interconnected, forming a kind of fabric or membrane called space-time. A black hole is a region of space-time that is extremely distorted by the presence of a sufficiently dense mass. The gravity in this region is so strong that anything getting too close to the black hole will never escape. The black hole itself cannot really be photographed because its gravity is so strong that any light emitted from within the black hole's edge literally cannot escape. Rather, the image shows a glowing disk of gas surrounding the black hole's shadow. This swirling disk of gas has been swept up by the black hole's strong gravity. The Event Horizon Telescope EHT, is a planet-scale array of eight ground-based radio telescopes forged through international collaboration. It was designed to capture images of black holes at the center of galaxies. This is the work of many astronomers using millimeter wave VLBI radio telescopes across the planet. By stitching together the power of eight state-of-the-art MM wave radio telescopes, they essentially turned the planet into one giant radio telescope. By using such a large telescope and millimeter wavelengths, they gained resolution never obtained before that allowed them to image the event horizon, which is about the diameter of our solar system. The image agrees very well with the predictions from Einstein's theory of general relativity. As an aside, many creation researchers think that Einstein's theory can explain how we can see distant starlight in a young universe. From the biblical creationist's perspective, this is yet again good operational science. There is nothing new here that refutes the biblical timeline of about 6,000 years because that is subject to historical science considerations. It is not an operational science question. Finally, it is also worth noting that supermassive black holes such as the one that was photographed present big problems for the Big Bang scientists. Some of these giant black holes have been detected at enormous distances from us. In Big Bang thinking, this means we are seeing these giant objects not as they are now, but as they were shortly after the Big Bang. The most extreme example is a giant black hole thought to have formed just 690 million years after the Big Bang. Yet secular scientists are puzzled as to how natural processes could form such massive objects so relatively quickly. This is very similar to the problem of mature distant galaxies that also plagues the Big Bang model. Black holes may be weird, but like all God's works, they defy secular attempts to explain the universe apart from our Creator. Thanks for watching everyone, and may you all have a blessed day.